Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about perfect squares. So for the first two pages, you're going to take notes with me, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so what I want you to do over here on the left-hand side of your notes is I want you to draw, to the best of your ability, a nice square. So remember, a square, the length and the width are the same. So not a rectangle, but a, a square. So we're going to put a little mark here, a little mark here, to show that these sides are the same. So let's say, for example, if this side here was 2, and this side here was 2, well, we know to find the area of the square, we're going to do length times width, so this will give us 4. And we could draw 4 squares out of the larger square, where we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 4 is actually our first example of a perfect square, where a perfect square is a number that can be expressed as the product of two equal integers. So would you please write product right here. So in this case, our integers are, would be 2, because 2 times 2 multiplied together gives us a product of uh, 4. So another example of a perfect square could be 9, because 9 uh, equals 3 times 3. So again, the product of two integers, so 3 and 3, which are the same, together gives you 9. Another example could be, say, 100. 100 is another example of a perfect square because 100 equals 10 times 10. And another common example could be, say, 25 because 25 is from 5 times 5. So if you notice, all of these numbers here are derived right from the product of two identical integers. 3 times 3 gives us 9, 10 times 10 gives us the 100, and 5 times 5 gives us the 25. So these are all examples of perfect squares. Now perfect squares don't necessarily have to be whole numbers. Sometimes they can also be fractions. So for example, let me give you an example. Uh, one ninth is an example of a perfect square because when I multiply one third times one third, this time we don't have integers, but we're multiplying two rational numbers together that are, are the same. So one third times one third gives us the one ninth. Another example could be say, how about four twenty fifths? Because I know if I multiply two fifths times two fifths, well two times two gives us the four, and five times five gives us the twenty five. So let me give you a little secret about how to identify perfect squares that are fractions. All right. Well, if you notice the number one and the number nine, each one of those numbers is a perfect square because one times one gives you one and three times three gives you nine. The same can be said for over here. Four and 25 are also perfect squares because two times two gives you four and 25 gives you, uh, five times five gives you 25. So that's one way to really quickly identify fractions are perfect squares is if both the numerator and the denominator, those values are also perfect squares. All right, so if you'd please turn the page. Let's now identify from this group which of these are perfect squares. So 16, um, four times four gives you 16. So 16 certainly is a perfect square. Uh, four ninths, well let's see, four is a perfect square and so is nine. So uh, that'd be two thirds times two thirds. So absolutely four ninths is a perfect square. 121, well 11 times 11 is 121. That's perfect square. Now negative nine is not a perfect square because if this was a positive nine, you could say yes, but three times negative three does not give us a, a perfect square. So this would not be a perfect square. 50 is not a perfect square. Uh, because if we do 5 times 10, well, 5 and 10 are not the same number. Same thing for 25 and 2, or 50 and 1, so that's a no. 17 is not a perfect square. 36 absolutely is, because 6 times 6 is 36. And then lastly, 36 49ths. Well, we already know 36 is a perfect square. And 49, let's see, well, 7 times 7, that's 49. So 36 49ths absolutely is a perfect square. So now that, now that you understand what perfect square is, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All 
All right, welcome back. Let's say do these practice problems. So for this first one, we want to list all the perfect squares from one to 150. So uh, we start with one, and one is absolutely a perfect square because one times one is one. Um, the next one is four because two times two is four, followed by nine because three times three is nine, and then 16, followed by 25, and then 36 because six times six is 36, and then 49, seven times seven, and eight times eight is 64, nine times nine is 81, and 10 times 10 is 100. And then 121 is our next perfect square because 11 squared or 11 times 11 is 121. And then finally, 144 is our last per perfect square because 12 times 12 equals 144. So the second part was, is 49 one hundredths a perfect square? Explain. And the answer is yes, because both 49 and 100 are perfect squares. Because to get 49 one hundredths, we could multiply 7 tenths times 7 tenths, and 7 times 7 gives us the 49, and 10 times 10 gives us the 100. All right, how'd you do?